Have you ever wondered to access the Yezu WireX network with their system fusion, but found out it was too costly? Well, if that's the case, this video is for you. Hello everyone, today's video is about the Yezu FT100DR, which is a dual band C4FM mobile radio. In November, I was shopping for a mobile radio to install in my car, and I wanted it to have detachable faceplate, I wanted to cover at least one digital mode, I wanted to have something that was not too costly, it needed to be dual band as well. And when I start shopping at my local store, which is radioworld.ca, and I went on their site and I was looking for uh, a dual band mobile with a detachable faceplate. And what happened is that I found out that this one was one of the cheapest. Plus, it does have APRS, GPS, and everything. So this radio was a great deal. So I ordered this radio. But then winter arrived, so I decided to postpone my mobile installation and I brought back my WireX network uh, nod with this radio and it has been there, sitting there for since last November. But recently, Yezu did a firmware upgrade for this radio. That changed everything, making it a very, very, very good deal. So if you check out RadioWorld.ca, you will see that this radio is a very good deal. Plus, now with the new firmware, there is many more options. Yezu System Fusion C4 FM is one of the best digital modes out there today for AM radio. Okay, it's specifically designed for AM radio. Plus, the way it works, IP to IP, makes the voice over IP very efficient and it sounds great. So, but the problem, it was costing a lot of money to set up a nod because you needed the WireX HRI 200 box. You needed a mobile radio dedicated to the nod because when it's activated to the nod, you couldn't use it anymore. You needed also an HT or another radio to get in the radio, to go into the HRI 200, to go to the internet, to reach the WireX network. A lot of people are using hotspot like this as well to connect, okay? And some people did link between WireX and uh, the FCS server or the UISF server. But this was the most expensive digital mode that you can get. But recently that has changed because Yezu did a firmware update for this radio, okay? And please uh, remember that the for the WireX network, it always has been the FTM 100DR and the FTM 400DR was the only were the only radio that you can actually use as a WireX hotspot in digital. Okay, but now with the new firmware update for the FTM 400DR, the FTM 100DR, and the FT2DR, which is the small HT, you do not need any more the WireX box to connect to the WireX network. You do not necessarily need an, H, an extra HT to X or a second radio to connect to the YRX knob. You can actually use the radio with its programmable cable. So you don't need to buy anything else that what came with the radio. The programming cable, the SCU20, you use that, connect that in USB directly into the PC, install the latest YRX software, the 1.5, and then you can use it this directly into the wirex network so you have to set up you have in node mode it's actually a not spot like you had in the past with our wirex so you need a second radio to go in like this one so you can go with your ht around the house and transmit the radio will pick up and will uplink you into the wirex network through the internet or if you only bought the ftm 100 and never try wirex you can actually go in direct mode and use the mic that come with the radio to talk to the internet directly. So this is great. So you only buy the radio and then you can connect to WireX. And if you have it in your shack with the internet and a PC, you're actually going to the internet without transmitting an ERF, like an internet radio. So this changed everything. Okay, if you ever wanted to try the WireX network, 
Well, that's the time to do it. So this is great. And to do uh, this, you need to upgrade the uh, three firmware into the radio, the main firmware, the DSP, and the front panel firmware. It's quite a process. It took me a little while to do it yesterday, but I did film the process for you. So if you already have a FTM 100 or one on an order, if, and probably will not be up to date to do the YRX network directly, so you will need to do the firmware upgrade. So in the next few minutes, I will show you how to update all the firmware to be for the FT100DR to be able to work it with the directly to with the YRX network. So we will start with a demo and after that the demo for those interested we will cover the uh, the uh, update uh, with you guys and I'll be back after for a final. The first thing you need to do is go on the ESU website and download the latest firmware for your radio and unzip that in the directory. Do the same with the YRX software, the latest version, download and unzip. I highly recommend that you do a backup of all your config if you already have the radio, okay, before you do this. And get your programming cable, the SCU20, that look like this. This is going to be used as well for YRX. Unplug. There's a little plug there, the rubber plug, and get access to the switch for the firmware main update. When it's done, connect to the computer and get the main firmware update. Check out in your device manager the COM port that it got from the cable, minus COM5, and then you can update the radio. The radio need to be powered, okay? So you have all the instruction before you do so. It take a little moment, but we will fast forward for the sake of the video. Just like this, just like magic. <laughs> then the firmware is done. Switch back, unplug the radio and switch back the switch. Don't forget to put back the rubber plug into the radio. And then you will need to check the software version or do a factory reset first okay <laughs> sorry there you go you have the factory reset it will ask you the call sign like a brand new radio you can do that let's fast forward that as well there you go okay sorry i will bring back the brightness better for filming okay so now let's check the software and the main has been updated now let's do the DSP update let's select COM5 that's a COM port we add let's push VM and GM plus power. The D key is the DEX key here. Okay. You don't need to any particular switch uh, on the radio to be able to update. It just goes like this. Then you update. 
Okay, it will ask you to update from 4.15 to 4.33, 31, sorry. Then you update, just like this. Let's fast forward. And it will tell you when it's done. You shut down, unplug the power, unplug the programming cable. No need to do a, f a reset at this point. You can check the software version. Um, there you go. We have 431 for the DSP. So we only need the panel to do. Okay. So let's go to for the panel. Select COM5. Press TXPO and GM key plus power. And then it will ask you to press display. Press display. And now you will have to flip the switch, but you don't unplug the radio. So you will need a plastic screwdriver or some a one like me that I put some tape on it, electric tape to make sure that I do not short anything since the radio is power. You have two switch. The first one is the little switch on the left. It is black. You will need to grab the panel and check it closely. Okay. And then you flip it and then you need, you see my screwdriver. Then you need to push the other switch is just a pushing switch and it will make a flash like this. Okay. And now you're ready to update. I know it's complicated. It took me a few times before, before it could work. Okay. So then you update the panel. This one is pretty fast. It is now done. Okay, so the firmware update is completed. So you can exit and then you go back to the panel and you will have to pick it up again and flip the little switch back using the plastic screwdriver. You can now put the plug back like this. You do a factory reset again. There you go. So you will have to enter your call sign like any new radio again. That's it. Okay, that's been done. So the reset is done. Let's go and check the software. So it's all done. Everything is up to date. Now let's restore our previous config going to the SD card. We started by this by saving our config. Now we can read and re-import all the config we had at first and we're done. This concludes this video. I hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified as soon as a new video is online. For now, I'll say 73 and catch you some other time.